but they represent something. Like I said, a lying, sinning forelock wouldn't be lying, sinning hair. And controlling or grasping every creature by its forelock, depending on the translations you're reading, some of us don't have hair. Some cre creations don't. I'm one that lost mine. <laughs> so the idea is it can't just represent hair. It would be more a lot of the scholars say it actually represents what takes place there. And that would be a lot, especially that frontal polar area that we talked about. That is, like I said before, that frontal, frontal polar area has more connections in it, more dense dendrites, more dendrites in it per little centimeters than any other area of the brain. Talk about integrating all of the information to make that decision. I mean, that's a forelock being grasped right there. I mean, you want to control something. It is definitely that frontal, frontal polar area, that final area that develops as we age.